I'm going to work on repairing a book. One of my students accidentally ripped a page out. So I'm just going to briefly fix it using a little bit of tape. Make sure my words still align. So I'm just going to measure it out. We're going to peel back. Smooth over. And because it's ripped in too many places, <laughs> measure out this Words are lined, pictures are still. We'll look at the back side of it. And I'll just actually look at it. I'm going to put a little bit more tape just to secure it. this to smooth the tape over. I usually use my little orange pillow to take out the air bubbles when I'm fixing like the spines and different things. This was a pretty easy fix here. And, and so now she's ready to go back out on the shelves. The previous repairs. She's been through some things, but she's good to go now.
And that's my book repair. Okay, so we're gonna look at a display for book fair, science related topics. So this is my display for tying with their science fair coming up. And we're we'll a little more visual right above it. Say hi, Miss Sunny. Where did you go? I can't see you. Hi. <laughs> Okay, for this section, we're gonna get ready to log into Destiny and run my notification report that I try to do every three, three and a half weeks because we have nine weeks of periods. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly go into my reports and do those. Just allows me to see where I'm at. I have 658 uh, checked out, 80 overdue, quite a few lost. So let's see. Circulation, here we go. Do, 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 do. Here are my notices, I'll just run it real quick. Refresh my screens. So I've actually come down, I had 150 last time and now I'm up to 123 and I will send these notices out tomorrow as well to all of my students that are overdue or have fines and usually I get quite a few that come in once these come out but this is pretty much all I do to do in order to take care of that part so I'll print them off and get them to them tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, this is me creating my book for the packets. We have one for the teachers' uh, donation to help the teachers build their. Um, Classroom libraries and parents can donate books from the, that they purchase. Uh, different little types of coloring sheets, but it also gives the date and the invite of the actual fair itself. And I'm just setting it up for the class. to their classrooms starting tomorrow.
off of my rosters that I have, I will make accordingly and try to have them in the teacher's uh, boxes by lunchtime tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. And so this is one of the ways I'm promoting my book fair. I just went around and hung up the posters uh, around the building and set up my online account uh, for the book fair, which will be next week. So that's it for that. I'll come finish later. Talk to you later. Yes. How much bigger you want to go? Um, whatever can possibly take care of big books. I go. I need a pretty big bag. It goes up to bag um one eleven. One eleven. Okay, let me try those. Do I need to uh, send those other ones back first, or how does that work? Yeah, you'll have to send those back first. Um, I have to give you an RMA number for you to return. So. Okay, RMA number. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. Hang on one second. Okay. You say it has to be on the outside of the box. Mm -hmm. And the packing slip that you put in to return it. Okay. Alrighty. Um, once those get returned, or when you ship them to return them, then you can call back and check on, and then we'll replace your order for them. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. And that part is my evidence of school library management skills. Okay, this is how I handle interlibrary loans. This particular book was turned in by another child from a different school. Uh, it actually goes to one of our other elementary schools called Acton. So, just simply find one of my folders. And we complete it. So, let's see. Acton. I'm going to look onto my little sheet here with my librarian. Acton is Marcella Silva. So I'm going to send it to her. Now, 
prefer to write in a marker. Today is 2-27-19. Deliver to M. Silva. Sorry, that's my alarm. Acton from our Barry Bill Hearts. Okay. Next, just simply put the book. Sorry. In. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it one on top of there? Yeah, I put it in there too. Seal it. And we're gonna go drop it off and then we'll be done. Come with me. Freedom 
song and which tree thus far. So we'll move further, still looking. Um, because of my elementary students. <laughs> they can be real rough on them. So, just pick it here. And I'm going to add some of my list. I love this book. Uh, since I'm in elementary and I will focus more on that list to see why I've come up short. Um, I've already never afforded to see the books I do have and then I'll add to accordingly. Alright, thank you. Okay, here's where the students come in. They drop off their books and then they have a seat in front of the carpet and should wait for instructions and we'll go from there. Okay, so while they're watching a video real quick, I wanna check into my books. And I just simply scan in the barcode. Shove them real quickly and then prepare for them to check out some more. Where's Nachi? You can invite a grown up to play too. Before we start, are you playing alone or with a grown up? A grown up. 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 Let's try it by ourselves, okay? their books from the courts. A girl and a boy goes at a time. And then they pick back up guys to the carpet. Back up to the carpet if it's not your turn. Alright. Remember green is English, yellow is Spanish. Alright, who's up first? Can put your lunch number in please. Alright, turn it over for me so I can scan it. Thank you. You got a bookmark? Go ahead. Your turn, sweetie. Alrighty. Thank you. All right, Leonardo. There you go. Thank you. All right. Say your name for me, sweetie. Adali. Adali. Got it. Thank you. And then they return to the centers. 
have Legos, coloring, matching letters, and more. Okay, let's see. Go ahead, you go first. Cow again? Cow. 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 Okay. Let's try it again. My turn. Let's I know. It's his turn, but you're going to be next. Horse. Oh. Horse. Do you those match? No. no. They're not the same. Just a look. Just a look. That one. Shh. 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 Guys, let her figure it out. Horse. Daddy, what? Horse. Yeah. Yeah. It's a match. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> now it's my turn. Okay, now it's Daniel's turn. Let's see what Daniel's going to do. Okay, let's see. It's a surprise card. It's different from a matching card. It tells us to do something special. Okay, let's see what it's going to tell us to do. Okay, it's Daniel's turn. Let's let's watch so we can know what Daniel picks. Let's listen. Frog, good job. <laughs> All right, let's see. A boy just went. Let's give me a girl. Good try, good try. Let's see what Daniel does. You're going to create a diagram. I personally like a web. You can do a Venn diagram, you can do a bliss, whatever one makes you comfortable. I personally like this, this is the one I chose. So what I'm thinking, Let's see, I'm talking about, like if I would have did my fish, you can just put fish or a type of fish you drew. Like, I like Nemo, I love him. So I drew a clownfish, okay? That would be my first thing I drew. But what else do I need to add? What else might I want to know? I might want to know about his details about him. I might want to find out about, I'm sorry? The coral. His body, his environment, or his ecosystem. And so all I'm doing is I'm just brainstorming. And like I say, if you don't want to draw a diagram, you just want to list different things, that's fine. So right now, I'm going to give you about a minute and a half to just brainstorm, OK? Now, you can do this with a partner, or you can do it by yourself. Because I know some people are like, I don't want to do this with nobody. I just do better by myself. <coughs> That's fine, too. Sometimes I may need a little help because I'm just not thinking along those lines. And trust me, I do that a lot. I talk to other people to get a different perspective. I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. So, for the next minute and a half, maybe two, I want you 
to uh, get by yourself with a partner and brainstorm. Think about what you want to add to your uh, fish, okay? Or the habitat that you're creating. Any questions? No, nope. you may begin. Hmm? Yeah, as long as we don't make a lot of noise, yes, you know. Keep it at a level. One. All right. The timer starts. We need more time? Yes. Okay. Give you another minute then.
I took him to coach. Yeah. 
So it 